Hi everyone, welcome to the day before a travel vlog. Uh, I'm just about to go to Heathrow Airport and get my little nasal fit to fly swab um, and then have a talk with the police about how to make women feel safer in my neighbourhood and then I really really need to pack. Um, sorry in advance if I look at the screen instead of the camera, as I said I'm completely new to this. Um, I've recorded this introduction already about five times so let's go! Hey everyone, so I didn't end up recording in the airport unfortunately because the queues were so long so I had so many transport problems first and then the queue in the actual test was like 40 minutes if not more. Um, my cat is wandering around me right now so if you see any tail or <laughs> she comes behind me, there we go. Um, yeah, sorry about her. So I know it's a bit old school, a bit Zoella, a bit 2014 but I have actually done quite a lot of shopping at Boots and Primark for my trip. So here we go, here's a haul, old school YouTuber style. Um, so first, hair dye, these roots, mm -mm. I want to go to Italy looking my best, not like I'm going bald, so um, literally, I mean I know so many <laughs> colleagues are gonna watch this like mm -hmm, we know what that's for but mum if you're watching I'm very sorry um some plaster no nope, I lied phone plugs um this so my entire boots thing came to like 31 pounds so the hair dye is like five pound thirty razors were like 350 not sure how much the foam earplugs were I have lost the receipt already um Feminine hygiene products. This haul is going amazing already. Um, plasters, actual plasters, because like I said earlier, guess who was the idiot who bought brand new shoes for a trip? Me. Guess who is also just taking one pair of shoes? Me. Um, paracetamol, for the same reason I'm taking the feminine life. <laughs> These are about six pounds, um, self-explanatory. Obviously, you can probably get all this stuff in Europe, but it's better to be prepared. A little bowl for my makeup remover because I'm not taking a big one. Shampoo. I think I'm going to decant this into another little bottle because this is heavy. And then things like shower gel and stuff I've got. I'm sure my mom's got some bottles somewhere. Hand sanitizer and snacks for now. Obviously, I didn't get these from Boots, but I live near Tesco as well, so two in one. Also, how are we feeling about the warm ring light? I mean, my brother got me this for Christmas, so makes me feel like I'm in an office. That one mood. Sorry, I just had to stop there because my cat went in the litter tray glamorous life um yes yeah, so this skirt it's a long one i'm five foot if you don't know me in real life and you're watching this i'm about five foot um my clothing size depends which shop but it's either 12 or 14 i quite like having baggy clothes so i usually actually go to 14 to 16 most of the time this is a 12 um it's just a basic wraparound skirt um it was 11 pounds um my my friends actually gave me a 50 pound primark voucher so disclaimer sort of technically gifted talk technically not um anyway i'm just gonna shove them behind because i need to pack it's about 6 p.m on the day before and i still haven't packed so i need to do everything okay um pair of jeans i'm still unsure so these are like wide leg now because apparently skinny jeans aren't cool i'm a millennial i can't let them go but i'm trying so um oh this this one doesn't have a tag but usually kind of jeans are about 15 pounds aren't they from primark 12 or 15 or something like this uh, again i'm unsure if i'm going to take these i already have two pairs of jeans i kind of want to get in a little bit of skirts because it's spring weather over there so 
Um, I got so four basic tees in total from the men's section. Is a tip, ladies. Less see through. Well, it's see through, but not as see through as the white tops from the women's section. So two white, two black, two pounds, just basic. Um, and lightweight, versatile, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to sit here and fold them. I'll do it later. Why do I keep doing this? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. It's giving very much Maddie from Euphoria. Anyway. Okay. So. I got a backpack now. I also bought a bum bag, so I bought both because I was thinking like I'm probably gonna take my camera and a wall and or a water bottle. So came with this little thing called cool. backpack. I did try and like get it in a different colour, but unfortunately the material, this is kind of like a fake leather material for ten pounds. Um they didn't have any fake leather black ones, so I'm a bit messy. Let's hope for the best. Inside pocket, two inside pockets. Self-explanatory really, isn't it? Wow, can't even do it up. Cool. Next up, I can't believe we've come full circle. And I actually bought like a fanny pack, <laughs> a bum bag, whatever, wherever you're from. Mostly for my passport so I can keep it on my front. Um, got a million. Hasn't really, it's got like an inside compartment which I think is quite helpful. Also came with like a little coin purse, which is handy because if you're going to Europe, toilets are usually 50, Euro, like 50 euros. So it's like the equivalent of 50p. So not 50 pounds, 50p, eight pounds. I was going to stop the video then because I thought my brother came home winged. This is my favourite buy of the day. It's a play suit. I love it so much. It's not see-through at all. And it's got this really pretty like variation of floral art prints. Um, I got this in a 14 just because I quite like play suits quite baggy. I'm, um, as Chunks or whatever would say, I've got big bunda. That was so bad. <laughs> Got big ass, basically. So I didn't want it riding up me. I didn't want to flash anyone. Nine pounds. Versatile, cute. Anyways, um, I don't know why I got this. I mean, I'm thinking Instagram aesthetic reasons. It's a scarf, a hair scarf, a neck scarf, tie, whatever really cute little pattern it's kind of you can't really see it but it's kind of like green let me see if i can adjust the lighting oh you can see a little bit there this was two pound fifty <laughs> my cat is <laughs> looking at me like i'm a crazy cow um some more underwears not safe for work underwears um and this so this comes as a two-piece originally well not originally you can mix and match which is good i tried to skirt on i didn't like it you could personally see like the outline of my underwear um also it was a bit long again i'm quite short so i just got like really pretty like purple top and it's got like this open cut detail here uh, i got that in a medium which is 12 to 14 and it was eight pounds and then finally, when I pulled this out, my mum was like, another one in the same colour. Yes. Another cardigan. I am a cardigan girl. I got this one, like, in a large 14 to 16. I kind of wanted it to hang off me. And uh, that's it. We made it, guys. That's the end of my video for today. I need to pack, but I'll probably film a what I packed for this trip in my hotel room tomorrow just because cleaner atmosphere less chaotic and I would have already packed by then so I can show you what I actually packed oh no actually I've got something else that I didn't show you so in Italy these masks are compulsory literally everywhere everywhere so I bought two boxes of these 
these are the kind of masks that have like the valve on. and they come on like this Ta -da! and apart from more snacks but i'm gonna eat all these before i even go i can't even see my face now so yeah that concludes my video short and sweet i'll see you kind of tomorrow in the video thus maybe yeah I, i'm undecided if i'm gonna do weeks at a time or locations at a time so i don't want to reveal them just yet but obviously i'll post it once i leave so i'll let you guys know well once you finish watching this and you get a notification that i've uploaded again you're gonna see if i decided on location or week so bye